I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Welcome back. Today, I basically just want to show you how you can recreate an effect that I use in pretty much every single one of my videos. And basically, it just recreates the look as if there was a black Promise filter screwed onto your lens. The black Promise filter essentially just blooms out the highlights and gives them a softer look. It basically just makes them look a little bit smoother, a little bit nicer. Now, this effect is super simple to do, looks awesome, and can be done the same way in pretty much any photo or video editing software. I will be covering how to do this in both Premiere Pro and Photoshop, so whether or not you use either of these programs, I guarantee you, you will benefit. First thing you want to do is duplicate the shot that you want to add the effect to and put that duplicate over the original clip so that you have the clip stacked upon itself once on the timeline. Next, you want to add the Gaussian blur effect to the top clip and increase the amount until you have a softness that you like. Now go to opacity and make sure to change the blend mode to screen. Now you can see we have a really soft, smooth look. Now this effect would look good if our character was in a dream or hallucinating or maybe they're on drugs, but this doesn't really fit the effect that we're trying to go for. So to take this a step further, we're going to turn off the visibility of the bottom layer and add the luma key effect to the top clip. Now just increase the cutoff until you have just the blown out white parts of the image selected, and there you go. That's the effect. Essentially what we're doing is isolating the highlights, blurring them out, and then overlaying them back onto our original clip. In the luma key effect, you can play with the threshold and cut off to get an intensity that fits your shot. If this doesn't do the trick, you can always go to the opacity of the top clip and lower it down if the effect is too strong. This effect works the same way in photo editing softwares, but I do quickly want to run through with you how you can do this in Photoshop. You'll want to start by using the color range tool to isolate just the highlights, then click Alt J or Command J to lift them onto a new layer. Then just use Gaussian blur or box blur to blur out the highlights, and there you go, same effect. There are some things to be aware of when doing this effect, especially in Premiere Pro. Sometimes if you add a glitch effect or a sharpening effect, it might get rid of the effect for some reason. But let's be honest, Premiere Pro screwing up our clips for no reason is nothing new to us, so it is just something to be aware of. It's also important to know that in some shots, this effect just looks kind of dumb. Occasionally, you'll put this on a clip and it just will end up looking weird, so if that happens, just don't use the effect. Also, if you make the effect too strong or too harsh, it also will just look weird, so be sure to use this effect in moderation. With that being said, this is definitely one of my favorite effects to use on my footage because it really gives a unique vibe to your shots. So, I hope you learned something new in this video. If you did, feel free to leave a like on this video, or if you want to continue to support my work, please subscribe to my channel. I upload, I try to upload two videos about filmmaking every single week. But, that's all for now. Stay safe, stay creative, and I will see you in the next one.